All right, guys, today is another airdrop hunting video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Firechain. Firechain is an EVM compatible, sustainability oriented smart contract platform that's developing a sustainable ecosystem based on United Nations sustainability development goal. So they launched their testnet in November of 2022. And in quarter three, they expect to release the main net. So in this video, we're going to be using testnet to qualify for potential airdrop that might happen again it's a potential airdrop nothing is 100 percent confirmed we're just trying to be early adopters and qualify without spending any of our own money basically just using the testnet tokens and if it qualifies us for some airdrop that's going to be a win because it just requires a little bit of your time and a little bit of uh, patience and honestly i think this is probably going to be one of the shortest airdrop tutorials that I've done so far. Now, since this is an EVM compatible network, you can use it with the EVM compatible wallet such as MetaMask. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use their native wallet that has both support for their native chain and EVM compatible chain. So I suggest that you do that instead of just using MetaMask. And that's how we're going to potentially qualify. So let me show you how you can install their native wallet and what other steps we can take to potentially qualify for this airdrop. All right. So first things first, we're going to join the uh, Discord and Twitter. So what you're going to do, you're just going to go click on this link. This is going to be a Discord invite link. And then you're just going to accept the Discord, uh, go through all the steps that is required to get accepted and you're good to go. And after that, you're going to click on this link, which is going to take you to their Twitter account and you're just going to click follow. Now, step number two, and this is going to be the step where we install Firechain native wallet. So in order to do that, what you're going to do, you're going to go to this link, which is the Explorer for Firechain network. And once we're here on the explorer.fire.network, over here, we have a banner at the top, download the Firechain wallet extension here. So you're going to click on that and it's going to take you to Chrome web store. And over here, you're going to click add to Chrome or add to Brave or whatever browser you use. And after that, you're just going to install the wallet. After you've added it to your browser, what you're going to do, you're going to click on the extension. And over here, you're going to set up your wallet. I've already have it set up, but it's pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to show it again. What you're going to do, you're just going to give your wallet name. Then you're going to click next. Afterwards, it's going to show you your seed phrase. It's going to also show you your uh, native wallet address, your EVM wallet address. So you can copy all of that. But again, if you're planning to use it long term, I don't suggest copying it and storing it somewhere on your computer. Instead, just write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper and keep it somewhere safe. And for the wallet addresses, you don't really have to copy them because you'll be able to copy them at any time in your wallet. After that, you're going to click next and you're going to enter your wallet password. So just come up with a password and after that, you're basically done with setting up your wallet and it's going to look just like this that you can see on the screen right now. Now we're moving to step number three and step number three is going to be to get testnet tokens from the faucet. Again, you can go through this link right here that I provide. I'm going to drop the link uh, to this Google sheet in the description or you can go back to explorer.fire.network and over here you can click on faucet and over here you're just going to copy your native chain faucet so what are you going to do you're going to go to your wallet once you have your wallet set up you're going to click right here and you're going to click copy uh your address so once you copy this address you're going to paste it right here you're going to click i'm not a robot you're going to pass through this uh select image you're going to click verify and after that, you're going to click send. And I, since I've already requested it less than 24 hours ago, as you can see, I got this message that I'm only allowed to claim once every 24 hours. So that's what you'll be able to do. But for you, it will send it. And then you're going to be able to claim it again in, uh, after 24 hours. And you'll be eligible to receive five fire coins per day. So you're just going to get five fire coins. But we don't really need much because this is a really uh, short tutorial. Now, step number four that we're going to swap some tokens from native chain to the EVM chain. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our wallet. And once you set it up, you're going to see only native chain balance at the moment after you requested some funds from the faucet. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on swap and you're going to enter whatever amount, uh, let's say one. And as you can see, it's going to swap from your native chain address to your EVM compatible address. So what you're going to do after that, you're just going to click swap. And as you can see, there is estimated fee right here. So you're going to click swap and swap processed. And that's it. At this point, you'll be able to see in a minute that the balance on your native chain decreased and the balance on your EVM chain 
increased. So it means the swap was successful. After that, we're moving on to step number five, which is complete delete tasks and earn points. And before we do that, I just updated the description to add some actions that you can do so we can connect to MetaMask and not use the native wallet. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to your Fire Wallet. And over here, you're going to go to Settings. You're going to click Manage Wallet. And you're going to click export private key. Please make sure to share this because this is basically a sharing your seed phrase. This is your private key that anyone can use to steal your funds. So keep it safe. So what you're going to do, you're going to click export private key. It's going to ask you for your wallet password that you're going to enter. And it's going to show you your private key that you're going to click copy. And after you've copied, you go back, you go to your MetaMask. And over here, you're going to click on your account icon right here, the top right. And you're going to click import account. And after you clicked on import account, you're going to paste your private key from your fire wallet right over here. And you're going to click import. And once you've done that, you're going to have the second account. Or if you don't have any accounts yet on MetaMask here, you can just import it from the fresh wallet. So it doesn't matter. Then you're going to have only one account. And after that, we're basically ready to complete the Zili task. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Zili.io right over here. We're going to click connect. We're going to click connect MetaMask and now it's connected. Please make sure that you have your Fire Wallet address right over here. You can check that by going back to your Fire Wallet and making sure, clicking right here and making sure that this address matches this address. After that, you're going to go to account settings and you're going to link your Discord and you're going to link your Twitter right over here. There's a pretty simple step, so go ahead and do that. After that, you're going to go back to quests and you're going to complete as many tasks as you can to earn as many points as you can. As you can see, they all have different points like following on Twitter gets you 10 points, following on Medium gets you 50 points. And you're going to do as many tasks as you can. I'm not going to do all of them because it's pretty straightforward what to do here. I don't think I need to go through all of them. And I don't want to waste your time. It's honestly pretty simple. As I was about to wrap up this video, I realized that I missed one important step as well. And that is going to be to do the transfer. So this is step number six. And step number six is going to be to perform a transfer to another address. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on your fire wallet. And over here we have transfer tab. So what we're going to do, we're going to transfer some uh, tokens to a different wallet address. So if you don't have a wallet address to transfer to, you can always go to explorer.fire.network. And over here, you can click on dashboard. And over here, you can select any of these transactions. Like let's say this one. Over here, you're going to copy this address. And you can just go back to the fire wallet. You can paste this address, enter the amount, let's say one. And we're going to click transfer. And after that, we're done. All right, and that was it for this video. It was probably one of the shortest airdrop tutorials that I've done so far. Please follow the simple steps and you might potentially qualify for Firechain airdrop. And the reason I'm saying that it's a potential airdrop is because they've raised $121 million worth from investors already, meaning that they don't need to do any type of pre-sale to raise the funds to continue their development. So they might potentially do an airdrop to attract more people and to have more engagement on their chain once it goes live sometime in Q3 of 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button to help YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this or want to know more about crypto in general. Hit that notification bell to get notified and post another video just like this and I'll see you all guys in the next one.